Hi, I'm Matt with Vault and Woodworking, and today I'm going to show you how I made this walnut butcher block stove cover to cover up our ugly stove. I start by milling down the 8 quarter rough stock that I picked up from a local hardwood supplier. The overall height of the butcher block will be 2 inches, so I cut each piece to just over 2 inches wide, and the pieces will be churned on their edge and glued together, leaving me with an edge grain glue up. Once the glue is dried, I add some double-sided sticky tape to the board and put it on the CNC. I'll be flattening both sides of the board with my three-wing surfacing bit. I love flattening boards this way because it guarantees a clean and flat surface. I sand the board down with 220 grit using my random orbital sander. Then after squaring up the track saw rail, I trim the piece down to its final dimension. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so you'll be notified of all new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. So I'll need to make a recessed channel in the butcher block so that way the butcher block can sit flush around it. And then I'll need to create channels for both the knobs and the vent cover. With the surfacing bit still on my CNC, I clean out the material taking two passes at an eighth of an inch on each pass. Using the bowl bit, I clean up the profile in each of these sections, exchanging the chamfer left by the surfacing bit with a rounded profile of the bowl bit. I knew the board would be heavy and need handle grip, so I took this opportunity to rot out those using the same bit. I switched to this downcut bit to clear out the channel for the stove knobs. I did this with eight passes to get to the final depth of one and one half inches, which gives it a quarter inch clearance above the knobs. As I do for all my cutting boards and butcher blocks, I apply a generous amount of food safe mineral oil and finish off with my wood preserver. This helps to seal the pores of the wood and prevents bacteria. It's important to make sure that the board is stored in a completely dry area to prevent warping, bacteria, and cracking. So for safety, you wanna make sure that the stove is not warm and that all of the knobs are in the off position before putting your butcher block top on it. Also, you wanna make sure that the recess is deep enough so it doesn't press down on the knobs and create a safety hazard. And there you go, a perfectly usable space for your next party. Thanks for following along on this project. I hope you'll follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Voltner Woodworking. If you love this type of content, make sure you hit subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.